Sonic Forces is awesome. Uh, it's not like the most amazing game ever or anything like that, but it's a really cool game. It's something that I've I've used to describe it many times in the past on like Twitter or whatever when I see comments and people trashing on Sonic Forces. It's fun and cool. Like that's what Sonic Forces is. It's really fun and cool. Um, great music as well. And uh, the, it has lots of replay value. Uh, it's a short game, I would guess around four hours to complete the whole thing. I'm just guessing maybe even shorter than that. There's, I think there's like 25, I forget. There's like between 25 and 28 like regular stages and they're each between <laughs> like 30 seconds to two minutes or so after you get used to them. So uh, there was a few missions that took me um, four to seven uh, to even 10 minutes uh, like especially a couple of the last levels, they they took a long time. I, th I think there's still a mission that I have as like seven minutes is my best time. But I know if I continue trying to replay that level and get through it, like you'll know, be through it, you know, probably in three minutes at the fastest. Probably I'm just guessing. That's just how the game is. Uh, a couple levels are harder than others and all that, you know. Especially the uh, the last boss was pretty crazy. It took me forever to learn the last boss and figure that out. Um, but. Uh, the replay value is super cool. You, uh, the, the, you can c customize your character is really neat. I didn't think it'd be a big deal to me, but um, it's actually really cool. It's really fun. It adds a lot of different gameplay mechanics to it, depending on the weapon that you use, which is interesting, uh, especially for a Sonic game. Because when I, when I, you know, I play Sonic to play as Sonic, right? So when I first saw this character customization thing for Sonic Forces, I was like, eh, that's cool, but whatever. I play Sonic to play Sonic, but it's actually really neat. Uh, it's a ton of fun, uh, and as you play through the game, you, re you just continuously unlock like new outfits, and you can really, uh, you know, get to a character that you really enjoy creating and stuff. You know, it's very cool. Also, each character has their own like level up progression system. So I'm not sure when you can start creating new avatars because I didn't really look until after I'd already completed the game, and then I started to notice a few extra things that I didn't really notice while playing through the main campaign. You know. I just wanted to play the levels and I had all oh, it's so much fun. It's a freaking fun as hell game. I love it. Um, so then after beating it, I started to look around a little more to see where the replay was and all that. And I noticed uh, I started noticing things. So one of them is the the character avatar. You can actually create an all new character mid game or whatever. Um, the same way you created your first character, like you, you get to select their race, whatever, like fox, bear. Um, thingies, whatever the animal type that they are, their race, animal type, same thing, man. Anyway, <laughs> um, and stuff like that. So you can, and I'm not sure what the max is of how many characters you can create, but the point is, you can actually, they each have their own leveling progression system. So um, I had maxed out my level of my first character that I created, and then I created a new one, and then I, I noticed, I, I just, I was like, oh, so this one kind of starts at level one, and it doesn't have like a level one through whatever. It's, it has it's a different progression system. It's based on metals. Um, but medals really just come basically just from beating levels. Um, I haven't really noticed any special tricks that you have to do to get certain medals or anything like that. I think it's just based on the rank you get at the end of the level. So if you get like a B, you get a, like a lower ranked medal than you would as a S rank or something like that. I haven't paid too much attention to that because I don't really care. But I do think it's cool that each character has their own progression system. You know, so <laughs> you can start a whole new character without starting a brand new game, right? Um, replaying the levels is also really fun. There's there's still all the little things that you might have missed, like for example, the red stars that they have in the game. It's kind of like Super Mario's uh, stars, whatever. The little extra things that you can go back and collect if you didn't get them all yet, and some of them are pretty difficult, uh, especially to find for me, anyways. But um, there there's also so there's a replay in that and like completing the actual levels, getting everything that you possibly could. And then there are these things called SOS missions, which are kind of, they're random. Uh, as you're playing the game after you've beaten it or after, you, I don't remember, I don't remember if they happen during the game before you beat it. I can't remember that, maybe they do. Anyways, the, the, these missions called SOS missions. You have one chance to complete it. So if you die once uh, during the level, it's over. Uh, so I've, I've beaten like two levels out of like 30 that I've attempted because I keep messing up. I, you know, I'm going supersonic speed, then I fall somewhere and I'm like, oh, you son of a bastard. Um, so it can be a little bit annoying. There are a couple levels that are trickier than others because 
the camera zooms out way too far it's really hard to see my character especially in a, one of the last levels too really cool stuff like fun as hell game but there's a couple things that are, are really annoying especially that that thing where the camera zooms out really far and your character is this little tiny thing in the screen it's like and i can't even see myself and i'm like where am i uh, I know I'm moving because the screen is moving, but I can't actually see my character. Um, so, you know, game's not perfect, but it is really cool. I do recommend it. I think it's awesome. I, I still haven't figured out... <clears throat> excuse me. I still haven't figured out if I like this more than Sonic Generations. I can say this. I've beaten this game. I've beaten Sonic Forces, and I have not beaten Sonic Generations. The main reason for that is because when I originally played Sonic Generations, it was on PC, and I have... Um, I, I, I have issues that I'm not going to get into. So I've had PC issues with that game, among other games and stuff like that. Um, mostly due to my, my monitor. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, so I start, I also recently, uh, a little while back, about a month or so ago, I subscribed to PS Now, and um, I'm, I started playing Sonic Generations on PS Now, so I'll probably play some more on there. We'll see. Um, I loved Sonic Generations. It was my favorite. As I got like halfway through it or so. I got into it. Like I really like Sonic Generations, and it was easily my favorite Sonic game that I had ever played. I loved it. I thought they did such a good job of meshing 3D and 2D. Uh, so when I saw Sonic Forces, when I saw the previews for it and everything, I was like, "Wow, this reminds me of Sonic Forces," and I really love Sonic Forces. And it is, it is, it's, it's pretty good. It does uh, even playing 3D. It reminds me of Sonic Generations. It's quite different. It's still, it is its own game. It's not like a Sonic Generations clone or anything. It's obviously. As I would think the developers would see it kind of an upgrade. It's you know it's got newer stuff, especially the character customization thing. Uh, you know the weapons that you use, which are sort of weird. Um, <laughs> they're weird, but they're fun. It's a whole new fun mechanic to play with and stuff. Uh, the kind of weird thing, that, the kind of sucky thing is is Sonic has his own levels. Uh, so like it's like half the game maybe even less of half the game where you actually play as Sonic the Hedgehog um, and you know during those levels you don't get to pick your character or Sonic you just you're forced to use Sonic which is fine because you know it's a Sonic game it's just a little awkward uh, as far as like I think you should be able to pick Sonic or your own character for these levels but the, you know they force it for story progression and all that kind of stuff but uh, I didn't have any problem using my own character it is fun it's really cool I don't know. Um, before I go into repeating myself, I'm just going to end it there. I really like Sonic Forces. Super cool game. Has a lot of really good replay value. Um, you know, you're not going to get hundreds of hours out of it unless you really enjoy the game. But you will get plenty of game time out of it. I picked it up on sale for $25. Uh, the normal price is $40. Uh, I definitely recommend if you if you want to spend $40, you can go for it. But if you want to wait for a sale, it has been on sale a few times already so far, down to $25. Um, yeah. So it's cool though. It's a really, really, really fun, cool game, good replay value. Awesome. Loved it. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.